Hi, it's me, Pam Benny, and I've been still organizing and working on some things. I you now have cleaned off my desk, and then I had worked on this area right here. I had shown that, and then here I worked on um, in these little I think they're Michael's boxes. Uh, put just different little st stationaries, um, mainly six by six and then eight by eight um, paper pads there. And this, you know, has just a few extra things and uh, stamping blocks. And here I, I put, um, you know, these kind of mats. Um, yeah, I'm board forward, etc. So then I worked on this shelf and the next shelf. So I can show you what I have on the shelf right here. Okay, I just pulled down this pretty little basket. And then I have this cute little Madame Alexander. And dial in there because she's just so pretty and it's a little petticoat and shoes. So this I had thrifted this with this got a little white. Did I have a bigger one too? And this pretty little looks like um I don't know, lilacs and different things with the ruffle. So in this little basket on that shelf, I have this little bag, you can thrift these all the time. Um, and so I'll just pull out what I have in here. So in here, this bag, I have mainly metal pieces. I like my Ziploc bags. Uh, metal embellishments just different sizes oh these are corners I guess I just threw them all in here and more embellishments looks like I could organize this a little better But anyway, there's that. And here's some, I think I have the, some of the corners separated. So that's metal embellishments. And then I've got corners for journals. These are fancy little uh, corners and then I have I have thrifted this one of these stamps you know that you could put dates on and then I have this um, it has a numbers wooden stamp I think I might have gotten this on Amazon it has the numbers and then I just have uh, some scotch tape. So that goes back up on that there. Then next to it, I have these on the shelf, and I don't have anything in them yet. But I think these are always so pretty. And then I just had my cute little chicken on the shelf then next to that I have these little this little pink like a little shoe box I think I may have gotten it at Hobby Lobby but I'm not positive what's the brand Bella storage System Bellow Storage Solution. 
And then, did I paint this? I think I did. I think it was a bright pink. And I painted it pink. Yeah, you can see some of it coming off. I, I like the softer uh, color. Don't remember where I got that. Hobby Lobby, maybe. I have um, little notepads in here. I need to put these in more journals because I have quite a bit, don't I? That's cute. So those notepads are in here. But I just have this and I don't have anything in it yet. So yeah, I, I managed to have some empties. A couple empties. And then on the other side, I'm going to have to stop it and get that. Okay, on that same shelf, I have this pretty jar. And I have it full of quite a few yo-yos. Then sitting on top, I have another Madame Alexander doll. And she has this little apron with little flowers in it. Isn't she sweet? Look at the fabric. Oh, this is Mary Mary. Madame Alexander. Quite contrary. So she sits right there and I found her shoes. They fall off a lot. Whoops. Okay, now I dropped it. Anyway, I'm going to try to... Well, see, they don't stay on real good. Hopefully they do, and I'm going to have to find the other one now. And then I just had uh, this that I used for 2022. and um, But I want to make tags out of all these cute little images that were in this calendar, or little... Um, you know, like little journal cards or something. So I have that out on that shelf too, so that I remember it. And then we'll go on to the next shelf. Okay, moving on. We did this shelf. And we're going to work on this one with these little boxes. Okay, I think some are empty. But I just love these little boxes if I find these thrifted. Or I can thrift them. I keep them, but I'll put something in there. And then I just had a little, these cute little animals on there. And then I had flowers on the end. I'm not going to show that. This I think is empty. Whoops. But that was so pretty. So I'll figure something out there. And then I've had this one a long time. Life is beautiful. And in here I have some like photos and pictures that I've gotten and this is a beautiful um, um, embellishment that I got from Dale McBay not not too shabby chic I love that it has a picture in there and I want to replicate that someday but there's just some photos in there and then we will move on Okay, so what happened here was sometimes you start something and then it makes more of a mess other places, but I did organize my stamps and things over there. But then I took some of the things that were in the windowsill there, and I am thinking about changing that around. So now I have these jars to figure out what I might want to do with those. Okay, like I said, I reorganized my dies and stamps, and they are on these IKEA um, shelves, drawers. And we're going to go this week to get a different um, table because I don't really like this. It's just like a card table or whatever you call it. Not a card table, but foldable table, and I want to re-figure that out. And I also need to vacuum, and I did clean off surfaces, but 
uh, once I'm all done, I want to relabel everything whenever that happens and vacuum, of course. So here I had a lot of those little bottles on the shelves here. And I'm going to keep uh, like the little flowers and just pretty decorative things. Those are flowers and those are those little alphabets. And then here I have little like wood beads or colored beads. And then here are my uh, Sizzix, um, what are these dies called? Big, um, bigs? Are they bigs dies? I can't think. But anyway, they're all here. And then I just have some longer um, Anna Griffith embossing folders and larger dies. More taller Anna Griffin. So here it took me quite a while, but I did reorganize all of this because I had some new stamps. Um, maybe some new dies. So, and I'll try to look up the bins that these are. They're divided bins. Also, somebody did ask about my canvas bins, and I'm going to look that up and put that in the description. So I have. Uh, two on each um, little drawer system. So I have, uh, so then I cut all the paper to fit, you know, for new stamps and put them in these little Avery, Avery, Avery L or Avery bags, these clear bags. So I have all those. Did all these. I mean, I had a lot of them done, but put them in the right order. Just some of the things. And I do like to sometimes stamp the image. That takes a lot of time too, but I think I did do a lot of those. Really cute, the house smells. So, then I have more stamps. Birds. Nature. Flowers. And then the next one, I have like, like food. Oh, there's a little bird outside, just landed. Did you hear me say bird? Is that why you popped by? I don't know if you can hardly see it. Okay, and then, yeah, more like food stamps. And I have farm. Sewing. I have fairy. Then I have vintage. And some taller ones I put in the back. Over here, too. Uh, some bigger stamps that didn't fit. I just have them going this way okay and this is the only amount if they don't I mean I have a little bit more room but if uh, not a whole lot and that's all I'm getting no more than four of those for for the cling stamps anyway I have a drawer with the wood stamps and then over here I have some embossing folders and I have some dies. Most of the dies are in this side, but some extra are over here, like words and numbers. Well, I only have one of those. Tags and bows and, you know, things like this. It's not really a tag, but you know what I mean? Like, kind of like. So I put all these in order. There's a tag. 
And then I have over here basic shapes like stars and rectangles and squares, circles, ovals, fancier. And then card creator. I have like, you know, this was when I was thought I might do cards, so I don't really use these a whole lot, but they are pretty. So that is there. And then here are embossing folders, and I have them labeled and um, so those are all the embossing folders. And then I do have some examples. But, okay, and then this side are more dies, like okay, it's miscellaneous. Oh, that's very. And then I have cooking, you know, like jar dies, and I have doily swirls. I have like edge dies, flowers, nature, birds, and butterflies. That is it. Is this nature? Let me think I need to switch this to nature. It's more like water, birds, vintage, holiday, love, baby. And these are like these pop-up things, whoops, right here that you can do. And I need to figure them out. I think they're they're kind of interactive like. So that's something I need to work on. So those are all I can't have any more dies than those. And then my whatever these are called, big dies. Sizzix. Anyway. Okay, so I did that. And then over here, this is where I keep my big shot switch. I need to use that a little bit more. Um, I showed you my buttons, and they are all sorted. Um, and then I come to my punches, and I have reorganized them. These are mostly the edge type ones, edge punches. Let's sit down here. Miscellaneous, a couple more edge dies, and little. Little dies. And these are mainly my Martha Stewart. And these are bigger. Did I say dies? Punches, punches. I always say stickers or stamps or I, I, I know what I mean, but I say the wrong thing sometimes. Okay, so now I have an empty drawer. And also this I want to put someplace else. And these are Brad's and uh, a few jewelry findings. So I want to do something different with that. And over here, this little basket of things I need to, you know, put away. And then these are little Ikea things. And I want to work on these and reorganize them and maybe pick up a few little things like this and redo that. I'm going to go to Ikea this week to get that table. Maybe I'll pick up a few more little things like that. Okay, then in here, I don't know, I'm always redoing everything. I don't know, why can't I just, I don't know, like, I just keep trying to make things work, you know. But these are like mainly like metal pieces and keys. The only thing with the Ikea drawers is there are some areas that, you can't reach unless you pull it out. Uh, and then a little bit of bling or silver or metal. Um, metal things. Um, what are those? Metal kind of label. Um, large rings. And then here is 
I mainly like the color of like whites and things. I guess what kind of works for me, some silver and white and silver in here. What works for me is color by color. I tried, tried genre and I do have some that I go by uh, the genre that I use for journals. But to put things away, it's so much easier just to kind of do by color the way. So that means I might start changing this over because I don't know if I want it like this. And like I said, I want to redo all the labels because I don't really like, you know, that, of course. But um, what I have here, I thought, OK, I'll put things that are blue, like, you know, it'd be fun to open up the drawer and you've got all blue things but and then I also have things that are paper so I don't know if I want to do that so I think what I'm going to do is come over here and put blue things in not paper but just um this kind of stuff and then figure out my you know ephemera and then I have this is like yellow and orange see I don't think I want the paper I think I and then I've got red and purple in here so I think I might go that over there and I have pink there's a lot of pink but you know I wouldn't have the paper I would just have this some of the blingy stuff and then this is like browns I don't know I don't know is this working or not do I want a whole drawer that's all brown with paper and then we have some green things so you know it could be like okay green I mean you're gonna find things maybe nature Okay, so I might switch that all up to like in here and maybe, I don't know what I just, maybe do paper. I'm not sure. And then over here, I got to reorganize my wood stamps a little bit better. So that's my progress so far. Um, and let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty much done with this except, you know, I have two that I want to redo there. And then I want to redo here my little Ikea board, whatever you call that metal board. And then I want to redo this over my sewing machine. And then I want to redo this. If Ikea has a just a metal board, instead of me having to have glued on um, the magnet. I'm going to look for a magnet board that's white, maybe at Ikea. So, and then I'm thinking of putting something different in there. I do have my um, big shot there and a lot of papers there. So, anyway, that is basically what I've done so far. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.